Hi, I'm Matthew Laster, Sonar Product Manager for Simrad Marine Electronics. Today we're going to be using Simrad Forward Scan and I'm going to show you how to use it to navigate a narrow channel and get into your marina. So the first thing you'll want to do when you get your Simrad Forward Scan transducer installed is go in and set up your uh, warning zones. So what I'll do is I'll go in here to our settings and then into Echo and into Forward Scan Installation. And this is where you can set up uh, everything you want the transducer to tell you. So this is completely user independent. Um, you can set your critical forward range and your critical forward depth. So what that essentially means is is a distance in front of you and a depth beneath the boat that you want to be warned about. Um, and then it will set your warning based off of whatever you set your critical at. For this particular boat we've got it set to warn us when we when the bottom comes within six feet deep and a hundred feet in front of us. So once I have that set up I can go in here to my, this is my forward scan panel, and you're sitting right here on this zero right here next to the 19.9 feet deep that we're at, and then directly beneath you, and then forward in front of the boat out to 60 feet is what we're seeing right now. So if I go in here to my view menu, I can set up show zones right here. And this red line and this yellow line correspond to the critical range and the critical depth that I just set up for my particular boat. So if any time the bottom comes inside of this yellow bar, it will start to paint it yellow to let you know that you're getting shallower. And any time it comes inside of this red box, it will paint it red to let you know you're in a critical depth coming up. And that will tell you whether you need to steer your boat around an object that you're coming up on. So one of the best features of Simrad Forward Scan is you can integrate all of this Forward Scan data into your charts. So if I switch over here to my chart panel, I have it set up to overlay the forward scan data on top of the chart and that's what you're seeing in this green cone here. Uh, when we set up the critical range and the warning range earlier uh, and it put those bars across the forward scan panel, uh, this corresponds to all of those parameters that I set up. So if at any time the bottom comes inside of the warning zone, it'll paint this orange triangle in front of the boat yellow for warning or red for critical and I'll know I need to steer around an object. So we're approaching the inlet to our marina. And you can see on the chart here that there is a, a little island right in the center. But when the tide is in and the water is up high, you may not actually see that island, so you don't know exactly where it is. So if you combine your chart with your forward scan, you can see that the bottom in front of us is going to come up on these rocks that, that make up the island. And um, as soon as this, we get close enough to where the uh, rocks come inside of our warning zones, you'll see it'll start to paint the bottom. Uh, yellow when it gets inside of the warning as it just did right there and then red when it jumps up inside of the the critical zone which is the one we set up earlier and we'd know then that the rocks are too shallow for us to drive right over so now we're pointed pretty much straight at this rock island that's right in the middle of our inlet and you can see here that the chart only has this tiny little box um, but the forward scan data is showing us that we're really in a critical position right now we're having to make a pretty evasive maneuver to avoid all these these sharp rocks down here and you wouldn't have seen that with just a regular chart plotter because it's not marked very well. So if you're in a situation where, and this happens a lot of the time in you know, these little inlets and these um, you know, man-made uh, dredged out ways to get into marinas, where it's not charted very well. Uh, and with forward scan, you can definitely confirm that this island is much bigger than it actually shows on this Navionics chart. So now that we've navigated into our inlet, I've got it set up with our chart over here on this side with our forward scan extension and then our forward scan data over here on the right hand side. And what we're doing is we know this is nice and flat uh, because this is a man-made, you know, dredged out uh, channel for us to drive through into the marina. But what I've got here is just another way for me to keep safe, you know, make sure there's nothing that unexpected show up, uh, you know, big rock piles or anything that wouldn't normally show up on my chart. So all we're really looking for is we're looking for the green triangle in front of the boat on the heading extension over here. That lets us know we're, we're good and safe on the chart. And then just to confirm it, I've got it set up with the forward scan data on this side. Uh, so this brown bottom here is, you know, you can see it's trending nice and flat. It's all in front of us. And so we know we're good to go keep heading in our direction. And we'll head it in and put it in the dock.